Billy Sipple, out for a swim with his mammy at Bushy in Hertfordshire. And when I say swim, I mean swim, because although Billy's only 15 months, he knows just how it's done. In fact, he's claimed to be the world's youngest swimmer. First, just to get the feel of the water, he goes for a ride hanging on to Mammy. And mind you, he's not the least bit frightened. He doesn't mind if she's swimming in three feet of water or 30. And then he goes off by himself, but still with a nervous parent holding him with one hand. But he won't have that. He wants to paddle his own canoe, and he does. By the time he's 10, he'll probably be a channel swimmer. After the swim, says Mammy, every job well done has its reward. Billy Sipple is certainly a marvel, and here's another marvel. A consignment of eggs from a famous poultry farm in England is flown by airmail to Sydney and kept fresh and fertile all the way by a new secret process. When they reach Australia, they're kept in quarantine for a fortnight, just to make sure they're free from chicken pox, and then they're placed under a broody Sydney hen. And here she is with her foster children. So next time you want a Devon fowl for dinner, just ring up Australia. And ring up New York if you want a big thrill. Blindfolded, this daredevil is walking the parapet of a New York skyscraper. And that's his wife sitting on his shoulder. She married him for better or for worse, and she's certainly getting the worst of it. Can you imagine what he'd do if he wasn't blindfolded? Easy, brother. Remember the lady. Look at him now. Well, if he falls with that chair, at least he'll have a seat on the tram. And that's more than I usually get. But he's not satisfied yet. Hold on to your seat. He's going to stand on them. Look out, for heaven's sake, don't spoil the picture. We don't want to lose you just yet. Take it easy, it's a long drop to the bottom and the road is very hard. Ooh! Don't do that again. You may be a marvel, but you're a nasty man. Phew, let's change the subject. <laughs>